finally the wait is over after the teams bot we are finally here with the much awaited zoom bot and i assure you that this bot that i made is going to be one of the most unique bots to be ever created on youtube the best part about it is that if you watch this video till the end you too can own this bot so stay on till the end before starting off as always all the links and the codes that are mentioned are available on the website the link to the article would be available in the description box below so let's not waste further time and open chrome the very first step is to go to github.com slash brokan 068 here you'd find this code called autobot join zoom click on it you'll see a code green code button click on that and download zip once that's done open this and extract it to anywhere you want i'd simply extract it to desktop as it will be easy to access it so here it is we have our file so these are the things that will be downloaded for you now this is where the real task begins so if you are a person who is given a link from your school from your authority and you have to join through a link ignore this file and click on this and edit with ideally ideally will come with python pre-installed so you can edit with this or you can just simply add it with notepad so i'll just edit with ideally because i'd suggest this to you since it's a python file and you'd come up with this so here what you do is enter your link here enter your link here now my link i'll be adding later on and enter the time you want to join here so currently the time is 12 15 so i'd want it to join at 12 Now let's say um, you have three, four meetings in a day. So what you do is add second meeting here, the time here, third meeting here, the time here. Now, if you want more, you can add a comma, enter, copy this and paste it here. And now you have a link four with the time, whatever you want. So Control S or save this file. Don't rename it, just save it and close it. So you are done with this. Now I'll simultaneously tell for the people who are given meeting ID and password. So for you, you ignore this file. If you are a person who gets meeting ID and password, ignore this file and open this file settings. So here you'll find all these location then the start time then the meeting id and the meeting password so is meant by location is go to start menu and find the location of your zoom so open file location it's here and go to properties and you have the target so copy this and close all of that now paste it here in in the place of location like this so here we have the location of a zoom and remember that the location should have zoom.exe at the end next would be the time you wanted to join at so you make it as 12 40 because i'll be doing this later let's do link first and here you add the meeting id so whatever the meeting id is and here you add the meeting password then below this you'll again see the same thing 
so you keep the location as it is copy this and paste it in the place of location yeah, like this and remember that the time should be in form of a 24 hours format so if it's 1 pm then it should be 13 right now it's 12 pm so it's 12 itself now over here also you do the same thing in the same format let's say your next class starts at 1 40 1 hour after the first class then enter the meeting id of the second class and the meeting id of the third class so if you are a person with a link don't touch any of it don't do anything don't do any changes to settings but if you are a person with meeting id and password you have to edit settings.txt and not link spread so save this file once you have entered the meeting id and password and close now the next step would be to double tap on requirements and it'll open with python and it'll start installing all the required modules as you can see the next thing that you have to do is to open zoom and go to settings and make sure that all your settings are the same as mine so where i've ticked you it has to be ticked in your device too and where it's unticked untick in your device too same goes for the audio uh, make sure that this is unticked and the rest three are ticked coming to the keyboard shortcuts go to restore defaults and click on restore defaults now the only thing i would want you to change is end meeting change from alt q to q and hit enter so how you do it is click on it press the letter q on your keyboard and hit enter so that's all for the settings and we are all set to go so the current time is 12 27 and our meeting is supposed to start at 12 30 so the only thing left to do is to start the bot now how you do that is to type in cmd on the top where you see the file explorer option and hit enter type in python main dot py and hit enter now you'll see that it says that it has found link and it is waiting for start time so what it means by waiting for start time is that once it's 12 30 the bot will start on its own so the current time is 12 28 which means that the bot is going to enter the meeting very soon now i've switched to mobile camera so that you can see that if i'm to use the keyboard or the touchpad you can actually see my fingers and this will prove that it's actually not me but the bot so the current time is 12 29 and in one minute the bot will open the link and join the meeting for you and you see as soon as the clock struck 12 30 the link gets opened and the bot opens zoom to connect to the meeting now we are waiting in the meeting room and we are going to get admitted and now we are connecting as you can see in the background there are some codes running and it will join with computer audio so the many youtubers who have actually done this until here who have done a zoom bot who joins the meeting for them and then leaves at the designated time but what you're gonna see in this video is gonna shock you let's say your teacher asks you to unmute now what what will you do you're not there it's the bot well you saw something happen let me show you what happened so when i open chat 
you can see that it has sent a message for me. Now, the host asked me to start video. Now what? Well, again the same thing happens. It doesn't start the video, it doesn't unmute. Why? Because there is some problem with my device. I don't know why both my microphone and my video camera is not working. Isn't that cool? Now it's time to end the meeting. So what will happen when the teacher ends the meeting? The board exits the meeting and it exits all the dialogues that were there. It even exists the link. So this is all for the link. All right, so that was for the people who have link. Now for those who get meeting ID and password, you follow the same steps that is to tab on this, type CMD, type in Python, main.py. So now it will wait for the time to come, whatever you have mentioned in settings. So we'll let it run. All right, as soon as the clock strikes 12.40, the Zoom application gets opened and the bot presses the join button and it enters the meeting ID ticks on both the options which is turn off my video and it enters the password now and now it's verified so now we are waiting for the host to let us in and we are in so So don't worry, I've given equal treatment to both the people with links and also the people with meeting IDs, which means that both your bots can do whatever you want, which means it can chat for you. So let's, let's just show you a proof that I've done no wrong. I've given equal treatment to everyone. So when the host asks you to unmute, the bot will do the same it did with the link. That and the chat is sent instantly as soon as start my video later is pressed. Now, when the host asks you to unmute, the bot will do the same. Done. All right, so that was the special thing that a bot had. Now I'll show you what it wrote in the chat. Now you will be able to see it clearly. So it writes, whenever someone asks you to unmute yourself or to turn on your video, it writes, there is something wrong with my device. I don't know why both my microphone and my video camera is not working as we did it both for the camera and for the mic so there is the message twice so the bot actually chats for you now if you want to customize this message you can also do that the meeting gets ended and it will close the zoom panel also so that's all now to exit out of the loop what is what this loop is doing right now as you can see it is waiting for further instructions which means that it is waiting for your next meeting so whatever you specified in your settings or link cred it is waiting for the time to come so if you don't want the loop to continue hit control and c here you can see control and c and you'll exit out of the loop now close command prompt and open main.py with IDLE. 
so this is the code and here you can customize your message so let's say this is for Mike as I've defined here that it is for Mike so if you don't want it to say micro a video camera here so you can just say microphone and the same goes for video call so when the teacher asks you to turn on your video you can just say video instead of microphone or you can just change it according to however you want and then just save it here so this was all for the zoom board i know you guys must be surprised to see that this bot does not only join the class for you but also write a message for everyone to see it please do share this video with all your friends who need to see this thank you for watching this video do like and subscribe to keep me motivated to create more videos and bots like this it's kanesh sharma signing off